last video um, that I did was really on ideology without the magic aspect to, to really kind of single out and focus on the uh, method of perception, thinking, and the importance of a rational, logical mind in initiation, in the practice of Luciferianism. Luciferians, when getting interested and trying to find their kind of niche in their own developing their own path, often, um, perhaps from what I'm told, a bit uh, overextended because there's so many different avenues to choose. So that's partially why this video is because I want to explain some key things about Luciferianism. I have read and heard that people describing Luciferianism say that Luciferians, their primary goal, primary thing, is enlightenment. And they want to enlighten others. And I can tell you that for certain, the primary goal is not enlightenment. And let me explain that. Enlightenment is only useful if it serves a purpose of furthering your own experience or power in life. What is power? It's a feeling of direct control and growing control. And um, as a Luciferian goes on in the practice of magic, that control, that feeling of power, is only one aspect. Luciferians don't just want to have knowledge. You know, we're, we're not learning things so we can just go along in life. Because if you've ever noticed anything about uh, magical initiation, is the attainment of secret knowledge is pointless unless you can use it and gain insight from it. All of the secrets that have been revealed to me over the years from my magical practice is validated by me on how it serves me now. A lot of times in Luciferian magic, um, the practice of encircling or ensorcelling, conjuring, uh, the Luciferian deific mask is an often brooding aspect of, of sorcery. No Luciferian would seek to invoke Lucifer in a literal um, anthropomorphic sense. It would be done as one would invoke their visualized image of perfection and self, self-excellence, which is related to your true will. A couple key things. It goes back to the adversarial doctrine. Lucifer represents wisdom found through self-exploration. Lucifer represents rejection of accepted truths instead to explore possibilities. Lucifer symbolizes rebellion with a purpose, knowledge, wisdom, and power. With that said, the symbol of Lucifer, the sigil of Lucifer, in the circle that's around it, there's a new uh, sigil, which I've been working on for a while, which uh, it encircles the Lucifer sigil, which is the traditional one I've always put forth, and it spelled a couple key deific masks in it. And the reason for this is names have significance, power, with our unconscious and the symbols they represent. Names must have purpose and, sh and present and command what your intent is. A sense of humor is fine. In magic, it's your own personal spirituality. So if you make it unimportant and tedious and 
and uh, not very deep, you're going to get that back. Um, the sigil of Lucifer, which will flash on this uh, video, has Ashtar Chamash, manifestation of Venus, the morning and evening star, um, Yam Nahar. One of the epithets of Yam Nahar, Leviathan, or Litan, is a serpent of the depths towards the east, or west. Towards the east and the northern part, we have uh, one of the original Ugaritic titles, epithets, of who would be Lucifer, Ashtar, which is uh, N-G-H-S-R-R, W-S-R-R, -R, which is uh, the rebel, the fallen angel who essentially illuminates from the fall. It's about obtaining wisdom and using it to manifest what you wish in life. Magic, especially when invoking the gods of old, is an act which inspires the psychodrama and, this, and the energy within, the power within, to manifest those deific masks within your life. That is the purpose. And Luciferians who then practice initiatory magic, whether it's Yutuk Dinal or any of the other, will find that there's a whole different level of experience beyond how you would explain to someone what Luciferian represents daily. And uh, 